This week's question, can I have two routers in the same network? My name is Steve. This is TQA Weekly. This question is by a Redditor named Juan Ifago. And I saw this on Reddit and thought it would be an interesting, simple topic for me to talk about. Now, I know that many of the gadgets that we're used to having in the world now are more and more wireless. That means that you don't have anything to plug in. You simply connect to a wireless network. However, your cable company supplied router or basically the router that you bought might not be enough for some of the things that you want to do, especially since many PCs, game consoles and other devices benefit from a hardline connection, not a wireless connection. And if you're a streamer, connecting via a hardline ethernet cable is a lot better for the quality of your streams. So it comes down to this. Do you need two routers in the same network, yes or no? Or how about we expand that question? Do you need a second router or can you do it with a network switch? And you will understand why the network switch might be a better solution for some of you. Now you're gonna to have to answer a few awfully specific questions to know what you should get. Do these connections need to be wired and do you need more than four ethernet jacks? And the other possibility, do you need more wireless access in your home? If you need more wireless access in your home, you can use a router. Now, the reason why a router might be more complicated to set up is because of the DHCP IP pool. And that is basically each of your routers can basically only assign up to 255 gadgets, including itself. Meaning that you would have to go into the LAN settings of the new router, change, let's say your address was 192.168.1.1 for the first one, you would have to change one of those, basically the third set of numbers to a two or something else. That way you could access it within the network without problem. Then you would have to change the DHCP IP pool to reflect the same changes so that you don't have any conflicts and don't end up asking other people for solutions on how to deal with the conflicts. I will show you how to do this in a future episode. Now, if you do not need wireless connections and you need four or more Wire, uh, wired connections in your network. You can use something that is super inexpensive and easy to set up and it's called a network switch. Basically you connect it into the router and the router does the rest and that's it. So in the future, I'll be talking about how to do changes to the DHCP IP pool and we'll handle that then, but basically it comes down to this. Do you need more wireless access or do you need more than four connections? That's basically it. If you need more than four connections and you don't need wireless, get a network switch. Otherwise, get a router. Now, I hope you liked this episode. And if you didn't, dislike the episode. Share with those that you think can benefit from this. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqwayweekly.com. Or go to my website, tqwayweekly.com, where you can find other things like the show notes of this episode, past others, find other ways of subscribing. And of course, use the contact form and email me directly. You can always drop it down below. And of course, if you want to see me play video games such as Assassin's Creed Odyssey, go to twitch.tv slash zaxis1981, where you will, of course, see my schedule on that page. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.